Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In this video, we will use the Kotlin Dependency Injection Framework or in short, Codein Framework to get the dependencies from outside as we discussed in the last video. So the first thing that we need is we need to create a new class. And you know, I will create this class outside all the packages. So I will create this class in the root package. So let's create a new Kotlin file class and I will name it MVVM application and you can name it anything. And basically I am going to create an application class and I hope you know what is an application class in Android. So what it is basically it is a base class for our application and it is instantiated before anything else. And inside this class, we will use the code in to generate the dependencies or required objects for us. So first extend application to this class. And with application, this class will implement the code in aware interface. So this is important. We need to implement the interface, which is code in aware. As we implemented the code in aware interface, we need to implement the abstract members of the code in aware interface. So inside the class, we will write override val code in. And I will delete this get and this code in. And I will get it from code in dot lazy. And I hope you know what is lazy in Kotlin. So we have our code in. And inside this block, first I will import Android X module. And to this function, we need to pass the application class, which is this at the rate MVVM application, our this class. That's it. Now, after this line, we will bind all the objects that we need. So the first thing that we need is our network connection interceptor and to bind this we need to use bind and I will bind it from singleton. So let's import bind and we need to import the code in bind. Okay. So you need to import this bind. So we will bind it from singleton and inside the singleton block we will initialize or we will instantiate our network connection interceptor object. So let's do it. And you know how to initialize an object in Kotlin. We just need to write the class name, which is network connection interceptor. And this class takes a context and to pass a context, we can use instance here. That's it. Now you need to import the instance as well. And again, import the code in instance. That's it. Now the same way we can bind all the objects that are required. So after the network connection interceptor, we need my API instance. So again, we will write bind from singleton and we will bind the my API. The my API requires network connection interceptor. And we already binded the network connection interceptor here. So we can simply pass here instance and it will automatically take the instance of network connection interceptor. And that is the beauty of Coden. After my API, we need our app database and we will do the same thing because all these things I want singleton. And I hope you know what a singleton. It basically means only a single instance. So I will use app database. And app database again takes a context. So we will pass instance and it will automatically take the context. That's it. After the app database, we need our user repository. So again, we will bind it as singleton. So bind from singleton. And here we will bind user repository. Now user repository needs my API that we already binded. And app database that we have here. So again, we can pass instance and instance. So for everything, you just need to pass instance. The only condition is the instance should be already there. So in this case, 
I first binded the app database and then I'm using the instance for app database here. So this way you need to use it. Okay. So we have the user repository. After user repository, finally we need our auth view model factory. So we will write bind and this time I don't need a single instance of our auth view model factory. So that is why I will write bind from provider. And inside this provider block, again I will create the instance. So I will write auth view model factory. And this auth view model factory requires user repository as an instance. And we already instantiated the user repository here. So again we can pass instance. And we are done. So we have all the objects binded that we are going to need in our project. And this Coden will provide all the objects to our activity. So let's see how we can do this thing. But before doing that, we need to define this class as our application class. So go inside your Android manifest.xml and just inside application tag, write name and define the class name, which is dot MVVM application. And we are good to go. Now come back to login activity, which is this login activity. And what we are doing here is to create this auth view model factory, we are creating all these objects. And this is a bad practice. As I explained before, we should not create instances inside a class because it is making login activity dependent on all these classes and this results in tight coupling. So that is why we are using the Coden framework to inject the required dependencies from outside. So basically we need only factory in this login activity and all these are dependencies for factory. So you know what, I will delete everything. And we just need factory here and we will get the factory from Coden. Now again, to use Coden, we need to implement the interface which is Coden aware in our login activity. And after implementing the interface, again we will write override val Coden by Coden. We will write like this. And it will give you an error and in this case, I don't know why the alt enter does not work. So what you need to do is you need to go to your import statements and we have so many useless imports. So first I will press alt enter to optimize all the imports. So inside your import statements, write one more line here and it is import org dot coden dot di dot android dot coden and you need to import this thing and when you import this you can see the error is gone so we have our coden now now from this coden we will get our dependency so here we will write private val factory that we need and this factory is needed to get our view model that we are getting from view model providers. So here we will write private val factory and the type of this factory is auth view model factory and we will get it by instance. And that's it. We have the factory and everything else is fine. So let's try running our application. So you can see our application is working absolutely fine and our code is much better and clean now. But still a lot more things to learn in this course. So stay tuned guys and don't forget to tell your friends about this course. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.